Are there more questions in the public? The chief librarian of Dublin City Corporation, who I'm sure does an excellent job, earns more than the Prime Minister of Spain. Um, are these disparities, if, if we talk of disparities between corporation tax rates being uh, inconsistent with a, a European harmony, do we then also need to look at disparities on the spending and uh, public salary side as well? Is there anywhere we're going to hear the rhetoric geared towards consumers, where we can see that imports, the benefits of imports, both from the point of view of choice and, comp and competitiveness from their point of view? If Europe wants to, to uh, continue with uh, this issue of taxation, Ireland obviously will lose out, but it will be Europe um, prepared to compensate Ireland for the loss of multinationals, not in, the, in a form of subsidies, which is, can be misused, but establishing European companies in Ireland, I mean investments from Europe into Ireland, and not from America or other places. I agree totally with you. Um, and in fact, one of our problems, I think, in Ireland is that we're going basically to Europe and saying give us a bit of money and give us a bit cheaper and we have a lower tax rate than they can afford. We pay our politicians and our university academics more than we pay in those countries and yet we're saying we're a poor country. On a GDP basis which we'd argue about, we're the joint third <coughs> richest country in Europe. Uh, we have tremendous resources, we should in a sense be able to manage our own affairs. But I agree with you that the logic, and it's one of the reasons why I don't like it, the logic of a fully integrated European entity is one Minister for Finance and one set of <laughs> expenditures. Now, that doesn't mean it has to be identical. If you look at Alabama versus California, there are different salaries and so on. But obviously there's a narrower range. So the answer to your question is yes, I agree that if we're going to harmonise one side of the fiscal equation, we have to harmonise the other one. Um, the, the other point in terms of consumers, I agree totally with you that the, the driving force for free trade has been the benefit to consumers. It's just that it's slowed up by the preoccupation <laughs> with particular domestic producers. But the main driving force is really that consumers get cheaper products, domestic firms get cheaper inputs and can operate more efficiently, and it's the consumer gain that is the main benefit from free trade, or in our case, the single market, as it were. In terms of... Um, would Europe give us a subsidy? I would figure we'd give up our corporation profits tax for 100 billion. 100 billion. Nothing less. I think, uh, I, I think that would be a disaster. Um, because I, I think um, the experience, and uh, I know you don't propose that seriously actually, um, I, I, I think the experience with parts of federations that have received subsidies is that the subsidies actually make the situation worse. If you look at the underdevelopment of Atlantic Canada, for example, because they have standardised Canadian systems of unemployment benefit, it's virtually impossible to make it worthwhile to work in Atlantic Canada because <coughs> the social welfare benefit for the whole of, that's set at what would be acceptable in Alberta or Ontario is just uncompetitive. So I think we should, have, we should not go down that road. I think the idea of harmonising tax <coughs> rates is wrong because one of the fundamental underlying principles of the European Union is competition, achieving excellence through competition. Now, if firms can compete in the single market and thereby achieve excellence by having a larger market in which they compete, governments, <coughs> as far as the efficiency of their governance, and hence of their lowness or highness of their tax rates, should also compete. And if we have a more efficient government system here than some other jurisdiction, we should be free to charge our citizens a lower rate of tax, whether it be for corporation tax or other forms of tax. And I think we need to keep that principle of competition in mind at all times. I don't mention to harmonise the rates. I mentioned to harmonize the basis, and I believe uh, that there is a strong case for harmonizing corporate tax base.